I'm someone who's always been intrigued by rust, even ugly rust. I just think it looks so cool. I found a buffet at a thrift stop and decided to purchase it, but then later on found out it was missing a leg. So I had to change my idea. I popped off the bottom layer around the buffet. Pretty easy. Um, I thought it was going to be harder, but it really wasn't. It was just a little bit of elbow grease. Found these great wheels at Harbor Freight and spray painted them black. I put them on the buffet, but when I set the buffet up, it did strip out the screws. I ended up turning to JB Weld and then re-screwed them. Problem solved. I went ahead and primed it with a gray primer. And then as I took off the hardware, I realized that it was plastic and several were broken. So I had to go bite the bullet and buy new hardware, which I think I got from Home Depot. It wasn't too bad, but I settled on these nice brushed bronze cut pulls. I picked Dixie Belle chalk paint in Hurricane and Gravel Road, which are grays, to go ahead and get started on this piece. Now, as you know, rust is not smooth. It's not smooth to the touch. It does not appear smooth. So in order to get the texture that I wanted, I used a calcium carbonate powder, and I added that to my gravel road paint, which was the dark gray. I put that all over the piece as the base coat. In order to get the raised texture, I had to pounce my brush up and down, not smooth back and forth, but pouncing it, which also helps give more texture. I went ahead and got my hurricane gray, which was the lighter gray, and started randomly placing it all over the gravel road. I want to add layers because I think that layers are more interesting, especially when you're trying to go for a chippy paint with rust as well. So this was my process with the hurricane gray over the gravel gray. I also have a mister bottle filled with water and that helps keep everything moving smoothly. It keeps my paint from drying out too quickly to where I can still work it. So I do recommend a spray bottle slash mister bottle to keep your paint from drying out. Now on this next color, I'm using buttercream, which is also a chalk mineral paint by Dixie Bell. And it's a creamy white, but it's kind of an antique white, not bright. So this was the perfect third layer of paint to this piece to give it that chippy white look. Now I did use a plastic putty knife and I used it up and down, side to side, to really create um, random and chippy without being the perfect brush stroke. I think it turned out pretty well, and it took a little bit of back and forth, trial and error, because I had not used this technique before. I ended up really enjoying how it turned out, though.
Now I know we could have stopped and had a great chippy finish, but I really am looking to create rust. So I used Dixie Bell's iron paint and it has a reactor spray in green. And when you combine the two, it creates rust. So I took the sponge and I used the iron paint and put it in the corners and on the corners of the drawers. And I tried to not get it too clumped together to create a more authentic look. And you do have to put two coats of the iron paint. Then you take your spray before it gets completely dry and you spray it wherever you've placed that iron paint. Then you leave it alone and you come back and it starts to react and create rust. Now I wanted the reds and the yellows of the rust to be a little bit more vibrant than the spray rust gave me. So I added some red chalk paint and a little bit of yellow chalk paint, just very gently over like certain lines to give it more depth. And I think it turned out really well. I sealed the piece with a clear latex and it gave it great protection and a nice shine and sheen that I think that metal would have. So this is the final product. I hope you loved it. Um, I think this would make the best bar or in a little cowboy room or even a boutique with your really cool um, tie-dye or bleached tops hanging over it. So, so many uses. Turned out great. Give it a try. I think you'll love it.